Hi guys, I'm Jealous Nadeshino and I'm excited to be here at the drum quarters. So what I want to do is to share a concept with you um, and that is how to develop flow on your hands whilst playing an ostinato on both legs. And the ostinato that I'll be using as an example in this teaching is a 4-3 polyrhythm, right? Or 3-4 polyrhythm, depends on how you choose to call it. Right? And so whilst you're playing the 4-3 polyrhythm on your lower limbs, you build flow with your upper limbs around the drum kit. So first off, what is the 4-3 polyrhythm? So it's, it's, um, it's a concept of playing two different rhythms at the same time, right? Simultaneously. And they just get interwoven, it, interwoven into each other, I beg your pardon. So it goes like this. So now this is what I'm doing. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, on my lower limb, my right leg, that's on the bass drum, right? And then on the i hat, I'm playing one, two, three, one, two, three, something like this. And then putting both together, it sounds like this. So if you're a beginner or if you're new to this concept, you might want to spend some time just playing that till you're comfortable with it, okay? And so I'm going to play it one more time. Now, since we have that out of the way, the next thing is how to develop speed around the kit. No, not speed around the kit. How to develop your flow around the kit before you speed it up, right? What I do normally is when I want to learn flow on a new ostinato pattern, I start with three basic drum rudiments, right? That's the single stroke roll, the double stroke roll, and your single paradiddle. Those are like the common drum rudiments, right? Um, that every drummer knows, or every drummer should know, everybody should know. So I pick them individually, right? Whilst playing the ostinato, I take the single stroke, stroke, beg your pardon, I take the single stroke first of all, I play around the kit, right, on different tempos, different subdivisions, till I get comfortable with it. And then I do the same thing with the double stroke roll and the paradiddle. So let's start off with a single, with a single stroke roll. You get something like this. That's like the basic, right? From there, I begin to get more creative and interchanging my strokes between the different sound sources around the drum kit. And it makes it sound different. So if you close your eyes and you just listen, it sounds like I'm doing something pretty complex than what it is actually that I'm doing, right? By changing the sound sources. And this is what I'm talking about. That's just a single stroke, right? And it's, that's getting more creative. And remember, I started from this. Right? And then I'm going to change subdivisions and change the sound sources again. So we also have something like this. Mm -hmm. 
Another thing you can do is to add accents in different places, right? It adds more color to, to the flow. And this is what I mean. Right? And so um, let's move on to double stroke. Um, the same concept. You start from a place that is easy for you before you begin to get creative and all crazy. Right? Now I'm going to take it around the kit. Same thing I played around the kit before we get all more creative and crazy. Right? Now let me attempt to play uh, 30 second notes. Um, my double stroke while keeping the ostinato going on my legs. Now let's combine the single stroke idea and the double stroke idea together whilst playing on both limbs, um, the ostinato on my lower limbs, so, something like this. Right, sounds more interesting. Let's add the um, single paradiddle and let's see how that goes. Now let's add everything together. Right, so if you want to like expand and take it into, uh, like add some flams to it, um, let's say uh, um, um, flam accent, for example, and um, um, let's say uh, uh, flam taps, right? It's just a combo of both of them. Let's see how that goes. I hope I don't mess this up, but let's try.
So I've come to the end of the teaching today, and I hope you learned something, right? You can take this concept and idea and spread it across different styles of drumming, Afro-Cuban, um, rock, whatever it is you want to do, you know, as long as it's um, concerned with improvisation. You can spread this across all different styles of drumming. And um, I'm sure this is going to help you pretty much. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.